Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is just a little project update. We're working on transforming the office into my daughter's new bedroom. That project will take a little while to finish. So I'm just gonna give you some updates along the way. And then once it's complete, I will create a uh, before and after video of all the changes that we've done. With the changes that we make, it won't feel quite as crazy and uh, cluttered. So she will have a larger closet and closet system, which we're gonna be working on this weekend and over the next couple days. She will have a full-size bookshelf as well. We're going to have to move her trophy shelf into the other room. She's probably gonna have to have another shelf too because this one's already pretty full. And then we will be painting this room eventually this summer for the baby's room. So this carpet has been in here for eight years now and it's not washable, obviously. It was just a cheap one I think we got at Lowe's. So I did order a new one, a larger one for her new bedroom. And then I would like to get a nice fresh clean one in here for the, for the nursery. I also plan on this dresser being changed. This dresser I would like to paint. This was one we got for free, I believe. Um, and it's like the perfect size to put a changing pad on top, which is what we did before. Um, so we're gonna be painting the crib and I would like to paint this little dresser to match. So that is another project we'll be doing as well. So since um, she's not gonna be using this dresser anymore, I'm going to try to arrange the, the new closet system in order to accommodate all of her things that are in there, like her pants and her pajamas. My husband is like, what's the rush, what's the rush? We The baby doesn't come until um, <laughs> November. Or November 2nd, I'm scheduled for a C-section. I was like, yeah, but I don't wanna wait until I'm super pregnant to do all these projects. So we have to decide what we're going to move. So it'll be fun. Rearranging, redecorating, but definitely doing it on a small budget. <laughs> so as part of transforming and rearranging rooms, this section here in the hallway is going to become our cat pan area, I believe. This was the only solution that my husband and I could come up with. So we have this corner so I don't want to move the open cat pans out here. I ordered a one that looks like furniture. It's a box one, which I really don't like to have it enclosed, but I want to give it a try. I want to put it in this corner. We'll get it put together and we're going to test it out and see how they like it. Because right now this closet in my office slash what will be a bedroom uh, has the cat pans in it. So. They need to come out so it can be scrubbed down, cleaned, repainted, and there's no other place for them to go upstairs right now. This is the dog's dish, and the cats still really love to use it. I fill it up every day with fresh water because they complain if it's not. <laughs> and I have brought down their food container to put with it. So now we can have the food downstairs. And we also had them upstairs because before our dog passed away um, so that he wouldn't eat all the cat food. Now I'm going to move those downstairs where their water dish is. I've been working on going through stuff and I've moved a lot of my office stuff up to the attic. Actually the girls helped me a ton yesterday. So they started carrying things up there for me. And so I have a few miscellaneous things left. I have to rehome and figure out what I'm gonna do with. And I have three big filing cabinets down here and I have narrowed it down. I've consolidated stuff down to two so I can get one out of here. I'll have my husband take that one out to the barn and then the other two, I think I'm gonna have him move them up to the attic because there's things in there that I just, like one filing cabinet actually has paperwork in it, like our important papers. And then we will start uh, deconstructing this room and I gotta do some measurements. I gotta decide what size rug I'm going to get. We are not going to fully repaint this because we just repainted this last year. So we'll just have to do some touch-up work and some cosmetic stuff. This is just one of the things that we're working on at the moment. My husband is off for the summer, so hopefully we'll be able to get some more projects done. 
So today it's actually really cold up here in the attic. I'm trying to rearrange things, make some space so that my husband can bring the filing cabinets up because everything is kind of a mess in that area right now. So keep working up here to free up space so that we have space to work downstairs, if that makes sense. <laughs> Now here's a box of some of my things from when I was a kid. Let me know in the comments if you recognize any of this stuff. These were like little cupcake dolls. Oh dear. Oh. I don't even know what they're called. But. Hmm. Hacky sack. Kush ball. What? I love, this is like my favorite box. Leave me a comment if you ever had these tiger games. This is like what I used to play in the car. Like when we would go on road trips. I would play these things. These were so awesome. I love these. And man, I was like a master at Paperboy. I would play this for hours. Kids these days don't even know. My Gigapets. I love this one. It was a kitty one. This is one of my original Tamagotchis. This TRL. Oh my gosh, I love TRL. I'd watch it every day I get home from school. Filing cabinets are gone. Holes are patched. Just have to touch them up with some paint and clean up the floor and we'll be on our way. That's how 84 is right there. How, okay, far, but... how far off? Do you want it to be 84? Do you want it to be an inch off the ground? Do you want it to swag an inch? What do you want? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? 84 and 3 quarters? Okay. How far off of this wall do you want it to be? Do you want to hold it? How do you think you're taking measurements? Uh, 72 and a half. Okay. Like an inch. So this is where we're at for the end of the first day. I know I went super cheap with the curtain rods, but I hope they'll be okay. If it was downstairs, then I would spend a little bit more money, but we'll see if these ones hold up. So I'm just gonna wait to hang up the curtains until we get the closet system in, and I'm not gonna hang curtains on this side until I clean all out around around everything in the laundry area first. So get that all really good wiped down, cleaned out, and then we'll get the curtains hung up. And then I have to figure out what I'm gonna do about the cat trees. Not sure about that yet. <laughs>
this is where we're at so far. My daughter has arranged the bookshelf how she wants it, so that's fine with me. She wanted to use some of it for decoration and for her little fairy garden on top. The change jar will not be staying there. That is just to help keep holding the rug down until it flattens out some more on the edge. Over in this corner where the cat tree used to be is now the stuffed animal cage, stuffed animal zoo container, <laughs> whatever. Um, but it is the container, it is the limit, which I believe has reached its maximum. Um, my husband made this. I mean, they're pretty expensive if you buy them online, which you can, you can buy them in different sizes, but he just got some rope, some cheap lumber, and just kind of put this together for her. So she has all her little stuffed animals in this corner, so they are contained. And the cat tree has gone downstairs near the windows so that they can watch the birds outside. I was trying to stay on a budget, but I didn't like write out a budget ahead of time, which got me into trouble. I tried to not spend too much and only buy the things that we really needed for this project. So I'm going to list those on the screen and the actual cost of what we paid for everything so that you can see that if you don't keep check, little things add up pretty quickly. So the biggest expense was getting the closet system and a new rug, but the closet system was still cheaper than buying, say, a whole new dresser or big pieces of furniture and it will be adjustable and it can grow with her over time so i think it was a pretty good deal so thank you for watching be sure to stay tuned for next week when we should have everything i'll put together in the final video with the complete transformation uh, we should be able to finish up this room by then thank you so much for watching take care bye, -bye.